Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode, we headed south of Pewter City to Viridian City. In this episode, we're going to be going east from Pewter City because, well, you might be wondering why I didn't just go this way in the first place. Well, it wasn't Monday. So with that, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and swap Daisy into the front here because I think... She'll be probably the most useful in the upcoming circumstances. Hello, are you required? Pretty sure someone here is gonna be required. Oh yeah, they, they're lined up. Uh, in that case, let's fight the most interesting of the three youngsters. Youngster, goodness how rude, call me shorts boy. That is... Fail boy. Ugh! Mmm, that's some gamer lingo right there. Anyway, yeah, cool fight. Uh, down here we have meteorites, and if I remember correctly, there's some fat itemage to be had here. Where is that? Like, here? Is it on the little mud spots? Anyway, these meteorites are important, because if you have a Deoxys through some method, because back in Generation 4, Deoxys wasn't exactly the most common Pokemon, but now that we have Oras, it's a bit better. Um, these change its forms. I don't know which meteorites change it to which forms. If you have a Deoxys, just experiment. I really doubt you have a Deoxys in Heart Gold and Soul Silver legitimately, but if you have one, cheated. There you go. Here's a double battle. Really? You want to battle us? You've got a lot of courage for someone so young. This is interesting music. Have we heard this before? This is the Ace Trainer and Kanto music. Huh, you'd like to go up, with the, uh, up against us? Great. Might as well show it because double battles are kind of always worth showing. They're al always pretty dang cool. What do you got? Electabuzz and Doug Trio. Very Kanto of you. Well, lucky for us, we don't. Uh, geez, level 47. That's actually very high. Um. So here's the deal. If this Doug Trio attacks Daisy, Daisy's going down. But who cares? Ooh, that's right. Petal Dance attacks a random foe. Let's hope it's Doug Trio. And there it goes. I mean, we'll be able to just swap right out. Well, in that case... Hell, that's... First of all, I, it didn't have to dig to avoid the discharge. But also, this is going to do no damage. Oh my gosh, really? Okay, well Daisy's swapping out, I'll tell you that much. At least we attacked Electabuzz, which I guess is just luck of the draw there. And I think that's gonna mean if we don't get paralyzed here. Electabuzz is going down, baby. Yep, there it goes. In that case, I'll swap out. Daisy should, or not Daisy, Bud should automatically just use Petal Dance on Doug Trio, so we should win, basically. Hey, there's a level up for Daisy. Level 50. Not bad at all. It's weird seeing these large stat increases after playing so much Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Um, I mean, I'm going to swap out to... Oh! Arena Trap! Okay, well, rip. It was nice knowing you. Sucks to suck. Well, there you go. I find it weird that they don't tell you that you can't swap out because of... Wow! Insult to injury. The crit. Like, I'm pretty sure we were knocked out either way there. Get out of here. The trio's sprite in this game looks oddly weird. Like, I feel like Doug Trio is usually represented like poking straight upwards, but those front two Doug. Doug. Douglets? Like, D Doug. I don't know what to call them. They're individual parts of the Doug Trio. Uh, they are both, like, tilted, and I feel like they never get displayed that way normally. Mother, you have an item for me. Thank you. I now know that this is extremely worth it, so I'm gonna let you continue. I'm gonna continue to let you do that. And there's nothing here! Wow! I guess that's a way to get back if you fall. Man, there's a lot of required fights here. Uh, I guess I'll fight you. I don't know what to do. Me either, dude. Nothing interesting. 
Uh, I think they try to go for a thing for these next, like these early Kanto roots. They kind of keep it to very basic Kanto Pokemon for the most part. If that's what it seems like to me at least. So you're not going to see too much variance with that. There's a Fire Breather, so of course I'm going to put my Bug type in front. I'm going to turn that Run Shoes off because I believe there's an item. Yeah, there's an item way down here. Also, I guess to mention wild Pokemon here, you can catch a Jigglypuff just like the regular Kanto games. This root is kind of known as the Jigglypuff root, at least to me it is. Here we go. Oh, it's not even hidden. I thought it would be hidden. Big root. You love to see it. That's a healing item that makes your Pokemon not like you as much, if, I, if I'm correct. Um, anyway, you can find a Jigglypuff, but also you can find an Arbok. And the wild Pokemon here aren't very high leveled, like I just fought a level 5 Rattata. Yeah, this is going to be like a Spearow level, level 5. The Pokemon here aren't extremely high leveled. However, you can find an Arbok in Soul Silver, and it'll be level 10. So if you want an illegal Arbok, go nuts. Otherwise, you know, just vibe. How do you like that? How do you like that? Okay. He's got the weird eyes again. Come on. Come on! Okay. My bag is digging into my shoulders. When that happens, I like to take a break and have a battle. Ah, uh, yes, you know, calming things like a battle. Oh, okay. All right, I think I'm just gonna take this. I'm just gonna eat it up. Well, you know, maybe not eat it up, but I definitely took it. <laughs> Good Lord. Honestly, I wouldn't have mind if Leviathan just took the brunt of it because that would have given some experience to uh, Yamega. You just gonna blow me up five times or what's going on here, dude? Your, your entire game plan can't be Oh, there's a Pokemon that's quad weak to rock type moves. I better explode. Like, <laughs> what? Surely you had rock blast or rock throw. Jeez. Anyway, I guess I'm talking. I guess I'll show the rest of this fight. You have a Clefairy? Look at that little baby. Funny you do have a Clefairy because we're actually going to be able to find one very, very soon. So Jigglypuff is on this route. Uh, Clefairy is on the next route that we're going into. I guess it's not a route. And it has Meteor Mash. Meteor Mash is a steel type move. It's kind of the iconic move of Metagross, but really anything that's kind of like space themed can learn it, thus Clefairy being able to learn it. I guess would be just because of the uh, association with like comets being steel. Or aren't they ice? I don't know. I'm dumb. That didn't even give me enough for level 50. Feh. What's... they really just gave up <laughs> with these. Guess I should carry my bag again. Yeah, get out of here. Hello, you're a veteran. I don't think I can get around you. Sure. How about you just slow down and give me the chance to defeat you? Hey, uh, thought this is interesting. I'm about to use the blue flute. How about that? It doesn't... Play any music or any, uh, it doesn't play any music or anything. You just get the generic using an item animation. Anyway, you're gone. Be gone. Thought. It'd been nice to have a flying type move, huh? Yeah, I, I don't think we've ever used any of the flutes before, so I thought it was notable because we do get to keep it forever. So basically, whenever anyone uses Hypnosis or anything like that, we kind of just get a free out. Okay. Jeez, they really pile on the trainer battles. Peace. Huh? When you meet the unknown on a mountain road, all you want is peace, right? Easy win. Cool. Is that all? No, it really isn't. Okay, uh, let's slow down to a walk. Cool. I know that there is an item up here that you can only grab if you have Rock Smash. Uh, 
I'm not going to go through the effort of bringing out Rock Smash, but it's a hyper potion, so it's nothing too special, so you don't need to worry about missing it. We haven't been talking to the the NPCs inside of the Pokemon Centers for a while, so I think I'll take a second, just a hot little second to do exactly that. Thank you, thank you. What is up? I remember there was nothing built here when I climbed the mountain. Things change and it's getting more and more convenient. Uh, well, this was here two years ago, so I, you know, boomer. Many trainers are visiting the mountain. You never know what wild Pokemon you encounter. It's, it's very important to recover your Pokemon at a place like this. Don't forget to make a record of your progress either. Yeah, if you want to save, uh, probably a pretty good choice at this moment. Although I guess you're not at that much of a risk because you'll just be sent right back to this Pokemon Center if you get knocked out. Um, we're about to go into Mount Moon, so let's get started. This is Mount Moon. Not too many notable... Hello! Encounters here. Obviously Clefairy's here. That's about it. Hey Rob, you're here in Kanto too. Some of the trainers here are tough, which makes it easier to train my Pokemon. Rob, I know that you're strong, but I can't help but challenge you. Well, your attitude's improved a little bit. Let's see how your battling has improved. Last time we fought you was at the beginning of Victory, or the end of Victory Road, rather. Full team of six, just like then. And we're starting out with Sneasel. I definitely didn't know that, and I definitely didn't put Daisy in front because of that. Get hit with this flamethrower. Uh, it weirds me out that Shadow Claw's uh, normal effective, because I always think Rock-type just resists anything that's predominantly physical. Oh, you're gone. Look at that damage difference and that level difference of four. You thought Macargo wasn't a good Pokemon. You thought. And Golbat. You've had the Zubat since uh, Azalea Town. Also, why did you bring on your Golbat on my Rock type? You've had Golbat since Azalea Town and still no friendship evolution. And I think that speaks volumes. Please don't hit myself. Good thing my attack stat is abysmal and my defense stat is ridiculous. So, even if I do hit myself, I'll probably do like 5 damage. Look at that. Maybe I can get the daisy sweep. Wouldn't that be sad? Oh, jeez. Wouldn't that be sad? After the last fight, poor, poor uh, Jamie here got swept by Ambipom. I think we all remember that. I think Daisy's about to do some hard work trying to think. I don't know if he has very much to answer this. Okay, he does have Alakazam. I'm almost tempted to use Rock Slide here to try to get on its lower physical defense. Although its special defense isn't great. I just want to try out Rock Slide. And it missed its disable. And I missed the rock. Why is it every single time the first move misses, the second move misses as well? Is that just like something I'm noticing or what? Okay, that doesn't two-shot, so I'm just gonna try Ancient Power and see if that's just gonna do more damage here. Quick Claw coming through! Let's see if the special attack that Macargo has offsets this. No. Yeah, uh, Rock Slide's a lot better to use. Also, really? You're gonna do this? Um, cool, go to sleep then, if we're playing that game. Also, good thing I didn't use Ancient Power again. If you want to even try and start stalling me out, you're going to sleep, buddy. Also, Quick Claw again. See, I'm not going to swap out no matter what, because at this point I am determined to get this result. Ugh, come on. Uh, that's okay. I think that, uh, Flamethrower ought to finish you off. Can I use Ancient Power yet? No. I wonder if- I hope the Disable goes away after I knock- Three times against Alakazam alone. Disgusting. See ya. Man, you know, if Alakazam just shot one Psychic or even Focus Blast at that point in my direction, I think it would have knocked me out immediately. Magneton. Oh no. Oh no, this is gonna be a sweep. Oh no, this poor little boy. I mean, my special defense isn't great. Yeah, took it. Ate it up. Ate it up. Say goodbye to your Magneton. There's no way it's gonna live. Nope. Also, no Magnezone. Not that he would have any method of evolving it here. Sucks to suck. 
Give me another one. Gengar? This one actually might be difficult. Again, just hit me once and I'm knocked out. Go for it, dude. It's still disabled. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the flamethrower then. Yeah, I don't think I'm taking this. Gengar is a pretty horrific attacker. And horrific for the opponent, not for Gengar. Cool. Well, you finally managed to knock it out. Hope you like Napalm. Remember this dude? Oh, I love it. Get hit with this fat payback. I wish payback was the move that had increased power. Like, uh, it's a it's a fighting type move that does it. Um, I wish it was the move that had increased power if you brought out this Pokemon right after it would like another Pokemon was knocked out. And I believe the move is Revenge. That like if you swap out, Revenge has double power after you get knocked out. Also, is that a crit? No. Just did more damage, I guess. Sure. Who's next? It's Typhlosion! No problem. I see. You weren't coming to Kanto just to show off. I mean, I was... I know Dig's super... Oh, I forgot. I forget it. Well, hit you with a payback and I might swap out here to Leviathan. Yeah, that's not doing much. Ooh, that's a flamethrower. Also, one thing I noticed, it seems to be uh, your rival specifically. He doesn't ever use any hell items. I'm not sure what the deal with that is. Maybe he believes in a trainer's raw strength. Also, I want to mention how, how interesting it is that Generation 2 is the one to introduce friendship evolutions. And then immediately they give you a rival that just has absolutely no respect for his Pokemon. And manage to show it by the fact that he has a Golbat this late into the game. Because he just had still like, even though we might have changed him after that fight in Victory Road. You know, takes time. Takes time to repair a broken relationship between man and Pokemon. Anyway, that'll do it. That's going to be a level up for Leviathan for sure. Level 50, not bad. It's pretty much on par to where we are right now. Very interesting, although I find it interesting that he's, again, not as strong as the gym leaders here. Hmm, guess it can't be helped. Yeah, perhaps not. My training's still not good enough? My Pokemon are so weak it makes me frustrated. Yeah, there it is. Still no respect for them. But I can feel that they're getting better after each battle. Ugh. They're still too weak. I need to give them more training. I know, I should take them to Dragon's Den. See ya, Rob. Alright, yeah. Guess we'll see you there. Probably. Oh, hi, Rob. How are you? Found a useful item while shopping. That's the second one this episode. You're going absolutely nuts. Anyway, I think we're just going to end it off there. In the next episode, we're going to explore Mount Moon. See you all then, and goodbye. Goodbye.